I am extremely happy to be made a member of the National Innovation Council chaired by uh, Mr. Da Sam Petroda, whom I knew over years, a person with extraordinary vision and dynamism, and I am sure that uh, his leadership and 16 of us who are members of this team should um, translate uh, many of the dreams and visions of our national leaders into concrete realities. India is a very complex country, very diverse in terms of culture, in terms of geography, in terms of everything that one can look for. And therefore, I think this very nature of diversity provides unique opportunities uh, for being creative, innovative, and everything that one calls in under this broader idea of a development. But uh, we have, la we are also a land of contrast. And uh, there are areas which are very well developed. There are the, not only in terms of uh, lo geographic location, in terms of economic ad uh, advancement, in terms of science and technology and so on and so forth. And on the other side, uh, you have also backwardness. There are areas on which we have not really mastered even basics of science and technology, a country which can build a Chandrayaan on one side, still don't produce batteries at the lowest level. So one can see this kind of a contrast. It is in this uh, scenario one should look at the role of innovation in this country. And uh, to me, it's a very unique opportunity to re-examine the way we work and be the way we live and uh, whether we are getting the optimum output for all the inputs that we give in any endeavor. And uh, in, because of the fact that uh, there are enough experts in a variety of areas which the National Innovation Council represents. I thought I will take up specifically areas like the strategic departments, the Department of Atomic Energy, Space, and the Department of Research, uh, Defense Research and Development, and uh, look at the kind of technologies that these departments have developed over the years. And you know there is a fund of technologies in these in departments which are resident. They have been used by these departments for their own requirements internally. In fact, they have been developed, whether it is in the area of material science engineering, whether it is in the area of optics and control systems engineering, aerodynamics, whatever it is. There is a whole host of things that is there. And also there is a systemic approaches like the system of reactor, a system for building rockets, a system for building missiles and so on. So there is the systemic approaches and then there are organizational structures. So there is, this is a very fertile ground for examining what kind of experience can we get out of this and what do we learn out of it and can we use these experiences and also the technologies that they are, that are resident into a unique ecosystem from which new innovations can spring, not necessarily in the areas for which they were early, originally developed, but in the context of social objectives, for example, can we address some of these in the context of water, in the context of energy, the context of health, in the context of education. So these are the, other, these are the kind of social objectives that one can look for. Can we improve our defense innovative, innovativeness in the defense research by bringing in even the other departments and their capabilities and mode of thinking into the defense research? This is another kind of an objective. Can we also look at the wealth creation, which is one of the very important aspects of an innovation and exercise? Uh, can we use many of these technologies either standalone or in synergy to bring in new products and new types of services, which can then be a main, which can be a very important input in the context of uh, entrepreneurship and also inputs to our industrial development. So there are many possibilities that probably could evolve. So what we are trying to do is to create a cluster, a cluster which will have the input from all these three departments. They will work in synergy and mind you, this is the first time they will be working for this kind of objectives together between the three departments. They will exchange ideas and experiences and also map the technologies that have the necessary innovation potential and ultimately to see whether we can have a number of products and services which will be unique in the context of the country's needs. And uh, I think this is a very, it's, it's a very, it is a, the ideas are rather nascent, but uh, in our case, the three secretaries of the department who head and uh, direct the program, they have agreed that they will come together, they will create institutions within their own department, and they will also create an institution which, where all the three will come together to discuss and uh, debate and also to organize activities and adopt it for specific end applications 
through the necessary institutional mechanisms of uh, people who would be interested in using these kind of technologies, techniques and procedures. So that's where it stands. I'm really excited at this possibility.